You're listening to Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. I'm your host, Mr. Dabalina. Today is November 11th, 2018. I'm going to play just three calls for you on this show today because they are kind of long calls, but it's worth it. You'll like it, I promise. All of these calls have a common theme, which is tunnels underneath houses. I don't know why, but I have an unhealthy obsession with tunnels in a lot of my prank calls. I do a lot of tunnel calls. I know I've played at least one of those before. It was a Tenants from Hell call where a previous tenant had dug some tunnels, had tunnels going all over town, and the secret entrance was inside of his closet. So I guess I can't play that one, but I can play a couple of brand new ones. They just happened last week on the Snowplow Show. It's the November 3rd, 2018 show, if you want to look it up over at snowplowshow.com. This call is where, for some reason, I don't understand why, but these two people believe everything I tell them about the tunnels underneath their house, no matter how completely ridiculous it is. Hello. Hello, Marguerite? Yes. Hey, it's uh, your neighbor, Roy. I live over there on, on Yorkshire. Mm-hmm. And, um... Don't do you. <laughs> what? Huh? I said, oh, do you? <laughs> I do. I wouldn't lie about that. <laughs> so, Roy, and, and what's your last name? Gerbel. Gerbel. Yep. Okay, I guess yep. we haven't met then, have we? Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I just looked you up in the directory. Um, so, you know, you know, uh, okay, so I was in my basement, and the floor mm-hmm. kind of caved in, and I found this uh, network of tunnels underneath our neighborhood. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm down there right now. Um, I hope you can hear oh, me Hear me okay. I can, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah, I've, I've got my landline. I've, I've got a really long wire attached to it. I'm uh-huh. just wandering around in the tunnels. But, like, the tunnels seem to concentrate directly underneath your house. Like, the, the whole hub of the whole thing is underneath your house. Oh my golly. So, I didn't know if it was, <laughs> you know, if you and Jay did this. No. Like, you guys didn't make we don't these? I don't know a thing about it. Because these we go... there 15 years. Oh, yeah. These seem like these, these have been here a lot longer than that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I know. And it huh. goes all over the neighborhood. It connects to a bunch of houses, but most of the doors are cemented over. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, um... Huh. Well, where would we have access to get down under I don't, our house? There's a couple there's... of doors that seem to go up into your basement. Um, well, yeah, there's a crawl space. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't have a basement? No. Oh, okay. Maybe they go up into the crawl space, or maybe they go up into a closet or something. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, know. Oh, my golly. If you'd like, and I... how did you find this out? Uh, you know, just like kind of a sinkhole opened up in my basement, and I just kind of broke through and found a room down there. Mm-hmm. But underneath, <laughs> underneath your house, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, old computer equipment from the 60s, like big tape, okay. big tape machines and all kinds of crazy equipment. Uh-huh. Oh, and my Lord, I had no idea. I'm trying to get it to all work. <laughs> well, just one second. Let me, let me get Jay in on this. Just a second. Okay. Are you available? This man has found a tunnel under our house with a lot of old, old equipment. We need to talk to you. Roy, Roy, somebody wants to talk to me about some problem. Roy, would you tell Jay this? My husband, I know it's a repeat for you, but oh, yeah. if you would, I'd appreciate it. All yeah. right, just a second. I can do that. His name is Roy, and I cannot remember his last name. It's unusual. Unusual. Hello. Hello, Jay. Yeah. Who are you talking to? I don't know. Oh no, I mean like before you had to hang up with someone. Oh, I was talking with my daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Roy. He's your bell. I, I live over there on, on Yorkshire. Uh huh. And uh, I found a, a network of tunnels. There's an entrance from my basement. It goes throughout the entire oh. neighborhood. So I, I'm down here in the tunnels right now. My goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh. And, um, like, the, the center, the, the hub of all of the network of tunnels seems to be centered directly underneath your house. Holy mackerel. So I was wondering if, like, you and Margar- Marguerite um, maybe dug these here. 
Did did you put these tunnels? Oh no, we um, we didn't even know anything about it. This is all news to us. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the 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 entire like every tunnel branches out from a central point, and the central point is your house. So I just figured maybe you guys did this. Huh? Wow. That would that would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Like I I just I didn't, was wondering like that, that's really weird. You just need the creeps. <laughs> Does it? No, no, I'm I'm just I'm just hanging out like there's this huge room underneath your 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 property, you know, like it takes up the entire space of the whole lawn and the house and everything and there's all these old computers in here. Are like, you kidding? Yeah, like computers from the 60s like look, I can turn this one on and it's it's like it does it does like all these lights light up and stuff. My God, it's under our house. Yeah, yeah, it's like this huge. Uh, I don't know, like a looks like a, a big. I, I don't know, some central command or something. Where where is your house? Uh, I'm over on Yorkshire, but uh-huh. I mean th- these tunnels go throughout the entire neighborhood, like everywhere. Like they pretty much connect to every house, but all the doors are cemented over or boarded over like one of them still worked and I lifted up the hatch and I was in some lady's closet I, I don't know who it was I, 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 th- I think it was the crones you know the crones, the crones. over on, on over on the road I thought they just owned the lot they have a house oh maybe the I don't know I could be wrong I've been trying to map out all the houses in the neighborhood crone has a lot over on yeah. But I'm not aware of any house. I guess I'm wrong about that one. But yeah, I was in some lady's closet. I, I didn't want to scare her, so I shut the door and just, you know. Gosh, I wonder where that is. You know, yeah. uh, I think uh, the Howell, the house that Jerry and uh, Mar- Martha Jean Howell had, was, I think that's the one next to the Crone lot, if I remember correctly. Um, I knew all those lots at one time because I was head of the architectural review board. But uh, hmm. I don't remember them all now. Um, well, I'm just I'm we're, down here flipping we switches. We were hoping to sell our house, but boy, this this throws a new wrinkle into all that, doesn't it? I guess so. Yeah, I'm just like I'm flipping all these switches down here in the breaker box, and like I like um I don't There's know what a the breaker box. Oh yeah, yeah. This place is there. There's it, this is a huge cavernous room with computers. There's these um doors that I don't know how to open, but I think it must be one of these switches. Oh, yeah, there goes the... I got the computer turned on. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. That's going to make make it impossible for us to sell our house. Oh, I don't think so. Like, no, this is really well built, but I just hit this button and these doors opened up, like they slid upwards, and these robots... uh, 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 A line of robots are coming out of this door. Sounds sounds like something out of the TV, doesn't it? I know it, it. Like this is exactly what it reminds reminds me of. But, wow. Um, they they seem like friendly robots. I, I don't think they're gonna. Seem, seems like they're okay. I don't know. This I'm, I'm kind of nervous now. Maybe I should get out of these tunnels. Yeah, you know there was a tunnel under uh, uh, part of the uh, campus over uh, downtown. My yeah. wife went through when she was a student there, and she says illegally they, they weren't supposed to go down into that tunnel. So a utility tunnel. But this thing sounds like somebody's been running some kind of operation down there. I know. It, they go on for a long time, too. Maybe it's connected to those ones you're talking about in downtown. Man, all the robots just left the room, and they headed east. They headed in one of the tunnels that go toward the east. I don't know where they're headed My to. Oh, Lord. Holy mackerel. It's the weirdest well, thing. This is, this is sure the shock of the day. I've had enough shocks the last few days. I uh, uh, found a, a mass in one of my kidneys that they're going to have to find out whether it's malignant or not. So oh, no. That's, that's what I'm dealing with here. But Sorry to uh, hear it. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, yeah, I just, um, I, I just wondered if can, this can, was... Can I we write down your phone number so we we get back in touch with you? And, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, area code. Right. Two two zero. 
two two zero. Uh huh. Six nine six nine. Six nine six nine. Yeah, That's yeah. I'm, easy. I'm I'm headed back toward my uh my house now because I the robots are going. They 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 they've all gotten out of the room, and they're all headed east. I don't know what they're gonna do. It's kind of weird. Well, you're on the west side of a uh, Yorkshire Drive. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're not headed down toward my tunnel because I, I don't want them to go uh-huh. to my house. Huh. Well, how, what what did you find is underneath your house? Just a a tunnel? Uh, mostly a tunnel. There's a small room there with a, an easy chair and a lamp. An easy and, chair and a lamp. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and there's a, a computer terminal. There's a computer terminals in most of the rooms. Like an old computer terminal. Like, you know, old ones I'm from the 60s. S- like a te- Audrey wants to ask you something. I'm going to give the phone a, to a, her. A teletype machine. I'm not sure how to spell your last name. What is it? It's a G-E-R... Uh-huh. B Z. B Z? Yeah. Yeah, it's French. Okay. It's it's pronounced Gerbel though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did he tell you about the robots? Pardon me? Did he tell you about the robots? No. He oh. Didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was hitting buttons while I was on the phone with him and this door opened uh-huh. up. Like it slid open like like in a sci fi movie. And all these robots came pouring out, and they're headed west. I mean, they're headed east. What? Down. Oh, my lord. We've got to come see this show. Down one of the tunnels. Yeah, I'm going to take some uh, video or something uh, if they come back. I'll, well, I'll... and let us know yeah. uh, what you come up with. I We'd definitely love to be in on all this. We're going to have to do something about it. I guess seal off all entrances or whatever. Do something. Yeah, yeah. I don't, do you want me to come up through your floor? Yes, like go I, ahead if you can. Okay, yeah, I'll try and I'll try and get some. I've got some digging equipment. I've been exploring these tunnels for the past month, and um, I'll oh, I'll wow. try and just come come straight up through your floor if I can. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, thank Keep thanks. In touch. Okay. Uh, oh thank yeah, you. I definitely Bye-bye. will. Goodbye. <laughs> This next call is from about five years ago, 2013. This is a late night call I made to a lady named Phyllis. And it seemed like she just didn't understand what I was telling her really because she keeps running around looking for water. I don't know what's going on with her, but here's a call to Phyllis. It's pretty weird. Hello? Hi, Phyllis. Yes. Oh, hey, it's David from down the street. Yes. Oh my gosh, are you sitting down? What's happening? I'm I'm in a tunnel underneath your house. I discovered there, I'm sorry. there's water and what? No, 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 no water. Well, yes, there is water actually, but I, I'm in a tunnel underneath your basement. I, I, uh, I I'm lost. Oh my goodness! Yes, I'm underneath your basement. Can you hear me banging on the floor? I can hear you. It's under my basement. You think? Yes, yes. I can you can you go to your basement? I think there's a secret. T- Okay, I'll go check. Thank you. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't hang up. Can you go? Okay. To, it's a secret door behind your washing machine. All right, let me go okay. take a look. Oh, God, please hurry, because I think I'm running out of air. Huh. Let me go, let me go check and okay. see what's happening. All right, sure. Oh, I'm getting short of breath. Sorry. Okay. Now I'm walking down to my basement. Okay, be careful. Yep. Don't, don't trip down the stairs or anything. Yeah. Is there a scary furnace, like like in Home Alone? Yeah, just a second. Is the furnace scary? Does it talk to you? Just, um, just tell it to shut up. All right, now, there's nothing in my basement. It seems to be okay. Okay, well, no, I, I'm in the tunnels underneath your basement. I, I, can you hear me banging on the floor? Well, there's nothing underneath the... Oh, well, no, it's secret tunnels. They're, they're like a big, intricate tunnel network, and I think I'm underneath your washing machine. Huh. Well, my washing machine is in a different part of the house. I'll have to go look and see that. Is oh. there, now what you're seeing, there's water running down the street or what? Yes, that's exactly what I okay. said. But see, the thing is, I think I'm inside your walls. 
because there was a, a, a stairway that went up into the walls and, and like I'm inside your walls and I think I'm behind the washing machine because there's plumbing. I see the, the plumbing. Yeah, lots of plumbing. Okay, I'll have to go look on the other part of the house oh, where the wash oh, oh, where the washing oh, machine oh, is. Oh, please hurry! Yes, thank God, thank God you're awake. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ! Now you're sure, and you're sure it's coming from my house. Fucking Christ! Yes, it's definitely because I'm underneath your house in the tunnels right now. Okay, well, let me go look. Oh Jesus! Fucking Christ! I'm gonna go look at the Fuck. washing machine. Fuck! See if I can see anything oh. there. Oh my god, you made these two four lo these two four locals completely worth it. Okay, I'm going to look at the uh washing machine and see if I can see any water. There's there's lots of water leaking in my head. Cause I'm underneath your house. Do you get that part of it? Like I'm uh, underneath now I'm your going, house. Now I'm outside. <laughs> what are you doing outside? Is your washing machine outdoors? Are you that? No, but I'm I'm walking around to see if. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Thank God you thought of that. Yeah. Oh Jesus, Jesus, baby Jesus, Jesus Christ. Huh. I'm okay. I can't see anything from outside. I'm going to go right now and see where the washing machine. Do you do you have a pickaxe? Let's see if because I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I'm going to look at the... What the fuck are you doing, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to look and see if the... Uh, yeah. Do, do as many comical... The do dogs as, are barking, so uh, they're They are. Do as many comical things as possible, as you possibly can. Uh, do you have a bird? Do you have birds? Do you have a parrot? Okay, now I'm where the washing machine is. Oh, I think I'm, I'm behind and, the wall. Can, can, and I'm not seeing anything from there. Can you can, can you hear me banging on the wall? Do you hear me banging? I'm behind the wall, behind the washing machine. Huh. Do you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, from behind the wall? No. Oh, because I'm underneath, I'm in the... In, the, the tunnel network underneath our neighborhood? Yeah. I, I, now I can hear that when you bang, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I'm trying to figure out how to get back home. I'm okay. lost underneath your house. Huh. In the tunnel. Well. <laughs> the tunnel network. Yeah, I can't understand where it's coming from because I now check the uh, washing machine. I'm going to... Listen, can, can, it, is it is it running down the street that you're seeing it? Yeah. Pro <laughs> okay. Probably. Listen, um, behind your washing machine, can you bang on the wall to see if I can hear you? That's so odd. Can, can you bang on the wall really hard? No. no. I'm going to put my robe on and walk down the street and see if I can see where it's coming from. That sounds... That sounds hilarious. But no, ma'am, are you still by the washing machine? Can you bang on the wall really hard? To, to see okay, just a sec. See if I can hear you that way. Okay, okay. Let me go. I'll go back in there and bang on the okay. wall. Okay. Just a second. And see if you can hear that. Jill says to bang on the wall. Thanks, Jill. Okay, just a sec. Let me go back in and bang on the wall. That's, okay. that's the sensible thing to do. That's the sensible thing to do, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm back where the washing machine is. And you want me to bang on that wall? Yeah, just bang on this arms. Okay. Could you hear that? No, not yet. <laughs> Maybe. Did you hear that? I, th I think I heard it. Can you bang louder? I'm going to walk down. I think the best thing for me to do now is to walk down. Um, I'm trying to see what... Of course that's the best thing. Maybe if you sing. Maybe if you yell really loud. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to walk down the, the uh, 
driveway. Can, 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 you, can you scream really loud by the wall? Maybe I can hear you screaming. Like, yeah, I, I banged this really loud. Uh, maybe if you sing or you yell really loud, you're just like, yeah, ah! Just, just a just, second, I'm going to walk down the, uh, <laughs> the driveway, I think, is the best thing for me to do at this point, and see if I can see where that water... I think I can feel your footsteps. Okay. Because uh, I'm underneath the tunnels. <laughs> All right, just a sec. I'm walking down the driveway. What's that noise? Can you hear that? Now, what it, what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. What, is, what do you think that is? Huh. What the heck was that noise? It's a weird noise. I don't know. I hope there's not robots down here. Yeah, we don't want robots. I've dealt huh. with that before back, at, back in uh, Bel Air. Okay, I'm walking down the, the street <laughs> to see if I can see... Now, there's not any water coming down my driveway that I can see. Oh, thank God. I don't want water. Because, I mean, if the water comes down here, it could just flood and I'll drown. Because I've already lost my parrot, my pet parrot. I brought my parrot with me, and it's dead. Okay, I'm walking down the street, and where do you see the water coming from? I'm underneath the... the, the, I'm in the tunnels underneath the, the street... I'm underneath your house right now in the tunnels, and the water, the water's... I'm walking, too- down, the, I'm walking down my driveway, and water. Oh, what color's your... Oh, I think your cordless phone's cutting out. You might not want to go too far. Oh, don't, don't... I don't want to lose you. I'm not... Any- Ma'am? F- Phyllis? Phyllis, Phyllis, come back. We're losing you. You're going to end up like my parrot. Phyllis, come back. Go, go away from the light. Oh, oh, I, I can hear you. Ma'am, Phyllis? Phyllis, are you coming? Yeah, hi. I, I think your phone was cutting out. Yeah, I, I, it's because I walked down to the uh, end of the drive to see if I could see... Now, I, there was, there's no water coming down towards you. Thank God so, you're okay. I thought you were going to die like my parrot. What? I thought you were going to die like my parrot. No. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. Okay, now, I'm not seeing any water anywhere. So, where are you seeing the water? I, I'm right underneath your house by the washing machine. Can you come back to the washing machine to see if I can hear you? You know, I think, David, I think you've got the wrong house because... Oh, oh, no, no. Um, no, it's Phyllis's house. Yeah. Um, huh. I'm right behind your washing machine because I can see all the pipes. And I well, know, I know my pipes. my washing machine, that's so odd because the washing machine uh, is in the back hall area. Yeah, yeah, that's right where the pipes are. And you're seeing water there? Oh, yes, tons of water is just pouring in. Just, it's like my boots are filled with water from your washing machine. Huh. Yeah. Well, because there's no water in where, yeah, the little room that my washing machine is in, there is no water there. It's leaking up behind the walls. It's leaking behind the walls. Where, where would I see it? Oh, I don't know if you're going to see it or not. But if you could go over to the washing machine, I'm going to see if I can hear you to make sure that's where it's coming from. Okay, hang on a okay. sec. I'll go back there. Oh, that's the most sensible thing you could possibly do. I'll, I'll go back to where the... Uh... I, I hope you weren't sleeping. Were you sleeping? Was I what? Oh, were you sleeping? Was I sleeping? Yeah. No, I was actually awake. Oh, that's a bummer. I mean, that's good. I'm glad you weren't sleeping. Yeah, hang on while I go back to where the washing machine is. It would have been more hilarious if you were sleeping, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, let me... Okay, I'm going back to where the washing machine is. Okay, now I'm in the, uh, the area where the washing machine is. Oh, can you jump up and down and sing songs? 
Like, what's a song you know? Um, let's see. Uh, can you can you hear me now? I'm jumping up and down. Uh, maybe you you need to yell really loud or sing. Okay. Can you? I'm I'm yelling really loud. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, not yet. But I think maybe I can hear you. Can you sing a song? What songs do you know? Sing really loud. Um. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder where you are. Keep going. Um, up above the sky so high. Da 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 da. What what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> can you now? Can, could you hear that? All Should right. I be okay. able to listen, see anything listen. if the water is coming from the yeah. washing machine? Yeah, you'd be able to see a big geyser coming from your hallway. Does that make sense? Yeah, I would have to see water somewhere, wouldn't I? Listen, ma'am, this is just a prank call. I'm not underneath your house. This is, don't, don't, what's wrong with you? Come on. Are you on drugs? Who are you? Uh, my, my name's Brad. I'm a prank caller from the internet. I just saw your number online. I thought I'd give you a call. Oh, gosh. Well, you gave me a heart attack. Okay, well, I'm sorry. All right. I, I'm very and sorry. I hope I hope you have a good rest of the night, though. I, I, it can only be better. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I hope so. Thanks, yeah. thanks, Phyllis. Thank you so much for checking to this very day. Phyllis is still telling her friends and family members about this night. Either that or she's completely keeping it quiet because she's embarrassed about the whole thing. It's such a bizarre call. Next is the last call of this show. I almost don't want to put this on here because I think it's going to make this show about 40 minutes long, maybe 45 minutes. I try to keep these things closer to a half hour, but I can't do a show with just two calls on it. That'd be crazy. So this call is, again, from last week, the November 3rd show. And this is the one where the guy loses his shit at Carol, a.k.a. me, using a voice changer. Hello. Hello, Dave. Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the city of... Okay. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your front yard today. What? We're going to be digging a hole in the middle of your front yard today. And why would you do that? Uh, it's for a service elevator. Um, we're working in the tunnels underneath your house. And uh, they, they cross right through your front lawn. Can you give me your name again? Sure, it's Roy. Roy, and what's the last name? Who? What is the phone number you are calling from? Uh, it's on your caller ID. It's the... And who's your immediate supervisor? Uh, it'd be uh, Chris Tompkinson. Chris? Yeah, yeah. What, Tompkinson? What, what are you getting all this information for? I'm just letting you know we're going to be digging a hole in your front yard today. I understand. This is a rather surprise that I'm getting a call this soon with no advance notice, and I want to find out whether this is some kind of prank or what? whether what's going on. I don't, what why, is the why, phone number why, of your why, immediate why, supervisor? Why, why, why would it be a prank? Um, we're just like I have no idea, but pranks are all over the place now. Haven't you paid attention to the news? There are all sorts of gimmicks out there where people will come do things to your house and then try to charge you. Oh, no, so no, I just no. want to make sure I get an advance call in. Hey, Just listen, to make sure listen. this Shh. is truly honest and you do work for the city and that this is your supervisor and he's aware of what's going okay, on. Okay, listen, That's all I'm geez, to do. settle down. Okay, look, we're working on the tunnels underneath your house. We're city workers. We're not going to charge you for this. I understand but that. I just want to make sure that I am clear that this is not a fraud case. It's not a fraud okay. case. Listen, we're, we're, working in, we're underneath your house right now. We're in the tunnels. We're underneath your front lawn. And we're digging upwards. So we're going to be digging a and hole. And the name of your, the phone number of your immediate supervisor, Chris Tompkins, is? Ah, uh, the, the phone number? Yes. Well, it's the same one I'm calling from on your caller ID. So if I call that number, I will be able to reach him? Yeah, yeah, it goes straight to this office and we can just transfer you. Uh, he's not transfer in Transfer me now. Okay, well, he's not in. Carol's in. Do you want to talk to Carol? Who's Carol? Carol's his supervisor. She, she's, yes. she's the department supervisor. You want me to get her? Yes, put her on the phone. Okay, yeah, let me let me put you on hold here. It'll just take a second. I got a pager. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough. Hello, this is Carol. 
can I help you? Uh, Carol, who do you work for? I'm with the city of... And do you know a person named Chris Tompkins, and does he report directly to you? Of course he does, yeah. He's the head guy here. And he reports to you, or you report to him? Oh, he reports to me. I'm just saying he's okay. in charge of all the, uh, the minions here, working in the highway department, in the street department. I just got a call from someone named Roy, who tells me that there's going to be a big hole in my front yard. Oh, yeah. And I'm just yeah, this, trying to this must find be out... This, this well, must I be didn't Dave. get any advance notice on this. This must be Dave, right? Yeah, they're, they're in some tunnels underneath your house right now. And why didn't I get advance notice that there's going to be a big hole in my yard? Well, it's just going to be there for a couple days. We're installing a service elevator in, in your front lawn. You know, just like an Why ex- didn't I find out about this ahead of time to find out if I have any rights about we, what's going on in a big hole in my front yard? Well, we don't want to make a big deal of it. Like, I'm just... Like, I make it my property, so it is a big deal for me. I understand it's no yeah. big deal for you. You go and tear up anybody's yard, but it's a big deal for me. Well, you won't be able to see the service elevator. It's going to be hidden. We're going to put grass on top of it. And when I'm they, not going to see this hole in the ground? Well, no, you'll see it this weekend. But it'll be, so it is a big deal for me, is what you're saying. Well, no, it's not really. Like, you're just making a big deal of it. Uh, yes, so, I do. It's my property. So it's just and gonna, I don't like to get a phone call that tells me they're going to put a hole right in my front yard, and I've got no say in this whatsoever. I've got no recourse to take this up with people in the city to find out what's going on and why I have to do this, why it has to be my front yard. It's just for a few days. So you, it's this just, is fired at me at the last minute. I know. No but, evidence noticed whatsoever, and what I'm understanding is you're responsible for that. That's right, yeah. We're going to put a service elevator in your front lawn. You'll, you won't you're see it. You're the one who decided to put a hole in my front yard with no advance notice, and that is yep. what you are accepting responsibility for. Yeah, I signed the paperwork. It was me personally. Me and Chris, we high-fived okay. each other. So you're the one that's, though I should really hammer on this because you're the you one that's be a doing dick. it. That's what I wanted to know. I'm not ready to accept this in my front yard. Okay. okay? Not until I hear about it, until I have a legal course to find out what I can do about this. Maybe nothing. Probably nothing. Listen, Dave. Listen. Listen, okay? It's just a, it's not a big deal. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Uh, It's just going to be a service elevator. You won't even see it. Occasionally, you'll see it rise up and people are going to come out of your front, out of your front lawn. That is a horrible thing to have having people pop up in the front of my yard. This is not something I want to do. Yeah, but you won't even know it's there. And you're there. telling me I have no they say in what does happen in my front yard and my property. They just need an easy way to get into the tunnels now and again. But you are telling me that you are doing this, and I have no recourse to control what is happening on my property. It's just a service elevator. You're acting like it's, it's something crazy. You're, you're trying to avoid the answer that I'm getting to. You're telling me I have no options on this. I must accept this in my front yard. Yes, you must. As a renter of the city, you must accept this. That's what I wanted to hear, and I have no recourse. There's no legal recourse. I can't take this up with the city council. I can't take this up with any of my elected representatives to have this changed. There is absolutely no choice I have. I have to suffer the penalty for this. Yep, yep, they're underneath and your the yard city right of Williamsburg now. Williamsburg will be responsible for any legal action against this because they gave me no chance to change it. Oh, hell no. What you're telling me is wrong. By the time... You're telling me that I do have a legal right, that I have a right to get a lawyer, I have a right to represent this, I have a right to stop this, then clearly you have to admit to that and suffer the consequence of that because you're telling me flat out I have no right whatsoever to object to this. Dave, look, just shut the fuck up. It's not a big deal. It's just going to be a couple of days, and you'll never know it's We're there. We're not asking about big deals. We're asking about a legal right I have, and you're saying no. Look, just I go, have no legal right to stop this whatsoever. Just go watch TV and pretend it's not happening. It's not a big deal. <laughs> hey, I could watch Brady Day and have a gunman walk into my house and shoot people. What? That's a stupid result. What? You are telling me, and this is what you're standing behind, that I have no legal recourse. I can go out, I can get my attorney on the phone today, and I cannot have any legal right to stop this. If you want to waste your money, go ahead and get your attorney. But it doesn't matter. It's going to be all fixed in a couple of days. It's a very fast process. 
It's not a fast process I'm concerned about. It's a legal right on my property. And you've told me I've got no legal right to stop this. The elevator is already if built. that is wrong. The elevator is already that is wrong, there. the city of should suffer the consequences for this. Look, sir, the elevator is already built. It's already down there. They just got to dig the hole so it can come up through your yard. I wanted advance notice on this to find out what my legal rights are, and you're not giving me that opportunity. Well, it's too late because they're already digging the hole. It should just take another hour or so, and they'll have the hole dug from the bottom up into your yard. Carol, um, can I have your last name? And then they're going to send a truck up on the elevator. Like, the elevator is big enough to load a truck onto. Carol, and may I have your last name? Yes. It is Gersperms. Can you spell that? Uh, yes, G E G E R S E B E R M S. Gersberms. As in, I love Gersberms. And you have heard me very clearly. I do not want uh, this. I I'll do not say. want this until I can find out my legal rights. And you are doing it over my objection to have people dig holes in my front yard without giving me advance notice, and you're saying, you don't care, you're just going to do it. Yeah, so yeah, it's, make it's clear, it's that's really... what you're saying, I have no legal right uh, whatsoever, you this pop again. this on me within minutes, and they're digging a hole in my yard. Yeah, and it's not going to be just an elevator for people, it's going to be an elevator for cars, so trucks are going to occasionally come up out of your lawn and just drive away. Like, the, there's a dump truck on the elevator right you now. You've got to be kidding up. me. You've got to be kidding me. No, they're, they're loading all the dirt into the dump truck. So once they get that hole dug, they're, they're just going to hit the button, and the dump truck's going to come up come, come up out of the lawn and drive away, and they're going to send a new... Is there anybody in the city of I can contact immediately to have this stopped? I'm, no, no, we've we got to do this. We need the service elevator. We've got a lot of stuff to do. I down there. understand There's you need tunnels. something, but you don't have to do it on my property with no advance notice. Well, you want us to That's do it on your... That's a policy your... which absolutely should get someone fired for ah, doing this without sh... giving any advance Come notice. On. I think we will all agree the person responsible for this needs to be fired. Well, your neighbors There's no have... no doubt about it. Your neighbors have too many trees, and we didn't want to knock any trees down. You have a nice flat lawn <laughs> out there. So I don't have trees. So not having trees in my front yard, it's my problem. Well, no, it's That's not a, a problem. Stupid answer. It's very convenient for us. Thank you. But as long as we agree, I think everyone should think. The person that does this with giving no advance notice, ah, no opportunity for the person to change this no, decision, course. that person has to be fired. What? No, that would be me. I don't want to be fired. Don't fire me. Well, that's what you're saying then. You're making this decision, though. So who is your immediate supervisor that I can contact to work on getting you fired? That would be my prime objective. Well, that's me. No advance notice. My, su my immediate supervisor is Jesus Christ himself. Okay, I will find that out that that's what you told me. Don't deny that now. You told me Jesus Christ is your immediate supervisor. That's right. Is that what you're saying? And he should be your immediate supervisor, too. Praise the Lord. He is your immediate supervisor. And if I find out you're lying to me, oh, and I'm you've got an immediate supervisor other lying. than Jesus Christ, there's another reason why you obviously should be fired, right? You can ask my, you, you can ask my pastor at the church. Jesus Christ is everyone's immediate supervisor. You have no immediate supervisor in the city of... Oh, in the city. Oh, I thought you just meant, you know, like me, personally. You know what I meant. Quit playing games with me. I'm sorry. But, but it's true, though, because I'm a very religious woman. I am and not. And you're telling me I'm now subjected to your faith. No, no, I didn't say anything like that. I, and I didn't say you were a woman. You told me that my immediate supervisor is Jesus Christ. No, I didn't. You were trying to impose your religious values on me. I just said that he should be, and I did not call you a woman. You're saying that my religious beliefs are wrong, that Jesus Christ should be my immediate supervisor. Well, what, what are your religious beliefs? You are criticizing beliefs? my personal religious beliefs. Well, I, I don't know what they are. What kind of religion do you do? Hey, that's not important. But we when I tell you Jesus is. Christ is not my immediate supervisor, you're telling me he should be. Well, I'm just saying, in my opinion, he should be. If not, you're going to go to hell. I'm going to hell.
hell if Jesus Christ is not my personal supervisor? You just sent more than 60% of the world so you admit to hell. Well, what a thing to say. Well, what a I, horrible thing to say. Well, not, the Christian religion is not dominant. That, that's what There's the Bible many says. There are people of different faiths, and you were saying they're all going to hell. Well, that's what the Bible what says. A it's not thing to say. It's not me. It's the Bible saying it, and God. And I don't care what your religion says, whether it's you or your religion says it. You're the one repeating it that you have condemned half the, over half the world to hell because they don't accept Jesus Christ. Look, we're getting off topic here. There's much bigger things to I worry know, about. I know, so you get back to giving me your supervisor's name before you started this silliness. Okay, well, here's the thing. I don't have a supervisor because I'm just a prank caller. I don't work for the city. You know? And I just made him hang up. Damn, damn, damn. It's too bad he just didn't stay on the line and argue with me a bunch more after I told him that, because holy shit, that guy loves to argue. I should have given him the old callback from a radio station producer, ask him if we can use that call on our wacky morning show just so he can yell at me. I don't know why I didn't do that. Stupid me. I wonder what that guy does for a living, or did for a living. He sounded kind of old. He had to have had some kind of a job where he just yelled at people all day. He's so good at it, like the angry police chief or a drill sergeant, I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of today's show. Thank you for listening to it. Be sure to subscribe to it wherever you subscribe to things at your podcast app or on Spotify. We're on Spotify now. Search for Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. You'll find us on there. Or maybe on YouTube. I've been putting these shows up on youtube.com slash phone losers of America lately. If you like these calls, be sure to check out the Snowplow Show at snowplowshow.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.